St. Francis built three churches and St. Francis had an order and men to feed and clothe and the money had to come from somewhere. And it wasn't coming from Francis, but it was coming from people who donated to make the world a better place. Every year on or near my birthday, my mom takes me out for breakfast. And a few years back, uh, my mom and I got together for breakfast and it was my turn. She had asked, what's going on? What's new? What, tell me what, what life is like today. And I started to tell her I was excited. We had, we had found another location to build another Jimmy John's and this would be our 15th store. And she stopped me. And then it got worse. She used my middle name, Daniel David. What are you doing? And I'm trying not to laugh because I'm in my 30s at the time. And you know, when you're a kid and your mom uses your middle name, you are for sure in trouble. And it's, there is no talking back at this point. She said, look, I don't understand. When is enough enough? It's, it's looking like you're getting pretty greedy. And I took a deep breath and I waited to make sure she was done talking. And then I just calmly shared with her that there's a separation. There's a difference between my company and me. And I have a job at my company. I have a title and a role and responsibilities. But even more importantly, I think I'm a pretty good employer. I really care about the people that we hire to the point where our general managers earn 25% of the net income of the store that they're operating. And so we're giving back a lot of money. And so it's really instant gratification for them, but it's ownership. And that general manager decides how much of that 25% that that person keeps slashes shares with the other managers in the store. And so all of our general managers have found a place. They are doing great and they love it. And none of them want to lose their assistant manager, but almost all of the assistant managers want to be a general manager. And so if I stop at 14 stores, then I have 14 assistant managers that want to be general managers that are going to have to wait a very long time. And so I can handle the risk. And so I'll take on the risk of a new franchise agreement, a new lease, a new loan from the bank to build another store because I'm giving an assistant manager who's proven they're capable of running a Jimmy John's an opportunity to run their own business. And so I had to let my mom know, this isn't about me and it's not about being greedy. It, it's really about the people and, and how I can help impact their life. In almost every case, they don't have the capacity to go out and borrow the money, the credibility to sign a lease or even or even the qualifications to qualify for a franchise agreement. And so by doing this, and then by giving 25% of the net income back to, the, to those people who put their key in the door every morning and who really manage that business, I think that's a huge win. And my mom was able to see that and understand that. And that it isn't about the money, although I do make more money than I did when I was teaching, um, it, it really is, is about how, what am I doing to use my gifts and my talents and my abilities to make the world a better place. We had a, an employee who was just missing a tooth. And I just said to him, I'm like, Paul, you're missing a tooth. And he's like, yeah, it's not in the budget. And I'm like, it's in my budget. Go get it fixed and bring me the invoice. Um, making car payments for people, being able to donate to local charities, St. Francis, was from a wealthy family. And uh, he decided to go with poverty, but St. Francis built three churches and St. Francis had an order and men to feed and clothe and the money had to come from somewhere. And it wasn't coming from Francis, but it was coming from people uh, who donated to, to spin the planet, so to speak, to make the world a better place.